Let's go. Let's roll. Cartel can hide this much coke this well. You can bet they can move it pretty fast. This is the RV. Something isn't right. Come on, move. Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pack, but it isn't going through. Think Pack and his rebels came down with the cartel, and Pack had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pack. Bowman, got a situation. Set up a meet with Pack and one of his guys. Pack, where are you? Listen, instead of Pack, we found Amaru. He's been killed. You heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pukara. Bowman. Bowman. The hell is going on here? No idea. But we gotta get to Bowman fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they heard her. I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pack was with her, and the call got cut off. Might be the sad phone dropped the call. Might be Pack fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Pukara? Got it. Bowman. Pakatari. What about him? He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the Rebels are no longer our allies. Contact! Rebel hostiles! Engaging tangos. What are you trying to do? Same thing as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El Sueño will die in Bolivia. 
There is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life. It's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Sicarios are backing Unidad. Frag out. Get some. Frag out. Show us your fucking hands, now! I would, but unfortunately my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad heifer. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? 
Yes, sir. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir. Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir. Yes, I understand. Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck. who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you, if you have power... Everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Bowman, no! <clears throat> The dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion. That I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend. Killed him. Decapitated my partner. Massacred thousands. He gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing. But stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees, which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying, the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakitari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along. And the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels. All with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia and Los Hijos del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder, if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, would she have still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. <laughs>